some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Piedmont, California, where we find that jackass Josh Abrams. And yes, he is a true jackass. And we find him walking around an office, wondering why there's no signs on any doors saying, Private, do not enter. Josh, if you need signs to tell you every little thing that you need to know, you are going to be in trouble for the rest of your life. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if he has some sign hidden somewhere away on him telling him that he needs to breathe. So now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, guys? I'm at the Piedmont Town Hall in Piedmont, California. I'm with Old Man Mike. Check him out. Link will be in the description. It's his first First Amendment audit. Let's take a look. I hope it's as beautiful inside as it is outside. Hopefully there's no Karens today. I don't really like the grumpy people. Well, grumpy people seem to follow you wherever you go because every time you enter a building, you make people grumpy. You've got one of those personalities that not even a mother could love, as well as a face that could break mirrors. I mean, if my dog were as ugly as you are, I'd shave his butt and tell him to walk backwards. So yeah, ugly face, ugly personality, creating grumpy people no wonder you don't like being around them five minutes later what's going on hello hey. hi what's down there um storage oh is it open can i go see no oh yeah could you not film me i could not yeah and i couldn't if i was gonna not do it okay okay um here you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can mm. we help you with something? Uh, what are you offering? And you know, I'm good unless you're, is, is there something okay. going on? Now, I normally don't fat shame anybody on my channel, but in this case of this guy's winning, smiling personality, and I mean that facetiously, I'm going to make an exception for him. I mean, come on now, how many trips to Taco Bell have you taken in the past 24 hours? I know it has to be at least four trips a day because you're really packing on the pounds, aren't you? I mean, there's no point in hiding anymore. You're addicted to that good flavor of Taco Bell, aren't you? You just can't get enough of it, and with the amount of money you're scamming off your followers, it's only understandable that you would indulge. No, I just don't want to be filmed okay. where I work if I don't want to be filmed where I work. So I appreciate I, I appreciate No, we're just checking everything out. We really enjoy the building. It's very beautiful. Great, Thanks, great, though. Great, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Anyway, Thanks short, for the permission. Worth my time. Anyway. Yeah, the, pe a short summary. the people aren't worth his time. He's just a city employee. That makes sense. That's normally how it goes. Um, yeah, the people are just aren't worth his time. Hi, do you work here? I, I do. What do you what do you what do you do here? I'm finance director. Who are you? Oh, finance. I'm me, and he's him. We're us. We're together. The gentleman over there. He said that he he's like put off by dealing with them. Is there something I can help you with? I'm sorry. Can I, how can I help you, sir? Um. Well, what's your name? Your name is Hi. Oh. Who, uh, who, can I help, sir? Who's he? Um. That's our finance director. What's how, his name? Mike. Mike. Okay. How can what's I help your you, sir? What's your name? My name you is Who asked Joe. that? I, I am, and you're not. Okay. I'm trying to be of okay. assistance to you. Listen. Listen. Take a deep breath. We're going to work through this together. Of course they don't have time for you, jackass. Have you ever had a job? I mean, there's times where you get so busy that you have to get things done. And, well, you don't have time to talk to anybody. Unless your job is customer service. In that case, you have to put aside your work to go help the customer out with their needs first. But, of course, I don't think you'd understand that little concept either. I just wanted to know the gentleman that's over there. He said that, you know, he was put off by dealing with the people. He just came in to take some pictures of the nice city hall, and he was not very nice. What I heard him say was he was put off by being filmed. Right. Which is different than how you're characterizing. No, 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 no. See, because when he turned around, and you know what, you know what doesn't lie? Camera. You know, in my estimation, what does lie? 
people that work for the government. But he turned around and the lady patted him in the back. He says, oh, I have to deal with them. And it, it's on camera. It can't be changed. I, I, I wasn't there, so, so I don't what do you, what do you do here? I'm the assistant city administrator and city clerk. Oh, okay. Um, what's the city administrator doing right now? Uh, she's she, in a meeting at the moment. She is. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll just we'll just take a peek around. Is everyone is is everyone here pretty nice besides him? All of our employees are professional and treat the public professionally. Except that one. <laughs> um, I did not witness what you said, so you know. Uh, all of our employees treat their public professionally. Okay. Well, I, I really appreciate it. We'll go find some more professional, nice people. Great. Hey, Josh, you want to know who else will lie? You do. Thank you. Thanks right. for coming in. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Very beautiful fountain out front. It's a beautiful building. Great. Yeah. It really is. The architecture. It's old. When was this built? Uh, in the teens. Vote. Nice. Ooh, it's a vote. Voting sack. Oh, very cool. See the camera on this thing's phenomenal. On the zoom. It's really good, yeah. All right, let's go take a peek around. What's in here? That's a non-public area. Oh, but there's no sign. Sir, that's a non-public yeah. area. But there's no sign. Sir, that's the, a non-public area. But there's no Please sign. The I understand that. Where's the sign? I asked you to close the door, sir. Is it? Well, can I have ten bucks? No. I'll trade you twenty for a ten. Please close the door, sir. But. But it's there's it no a sign. Public area. Please how, close the door. How long has it been non-public? As long as I've worked here for sixteen years. Since the teens. Since as long as I have worked. Did Did you make it non-public? What about over here? You're welcome to walk into the fire department. Oh, so what's the difference? Because this door is closed and that one's open. Yeah. Are you stupid or something? Common sense would tell you that there are certain areas of buildings where the general public are not allowed to go into. Would you go into Walmart and just start walking around in the back? Oh, wait. I've already seen that happen, but that guy was an idiot. And was immediately tossed out by one of our more vicious managers. But you see, Josh has never been employed a day in his life and therefore does not understand the concept of employee-only areas. It is a totally foreign concept to this Nimrod. Okay, well, so if I did this... Sir, please don't open that. And I opened it, then is it... It's still a non-public area. Would you please but, close the door, sir? Excuse me. Oh, hi, what's your name? Oh, they're all so nice. Oh, okay. All right. Do you want to come with us? Um, where would you like to go? Well, I'm just inviting you. I'm a really nice guy. I just like to meet new people. So if you want to come with us, you're more than welcome to tag along. If you're welcome to go into the fire department, you're welcome to go in this hallway here. Can you, the can you take a, a, a take us a tour? Can we go on a tour? Um, you, you've seen the public areas of the building. I'm happy to okay. show them to you. That's fine. If we can't, that's your private area. That's fine. I just didn't know if you wanted to take us for a tour so people could see everything. Well, you haven't told me who you are other than gentlemen who are with oh, the camera. Yeah, no. So I'd be interested in learning what you're, I'm, I'm what you're doing here. Sure. I'm me. Okay. We can, we can, we can, we can. Can you tell us, you know, who you like? If just some more information about who you are. Sure. So let me put this down right here mm -hmm. so we can have both of us here. That's perfect. Hey guys, so I'm me, uh, and he's him, and we are, we are together, and we're just here taking oh. some pictures, John. Is that your name, John? My name's John. Oh my god, Josh, why did you have to bring your ugly, punchable face in front of the camera? That's a, oh, that's gotta be a crime of some sort. Get back behind that camera where you belong. I mean, nobody wants to see that. John Tulak, okay, we're just here taking some pictures. And enjoying the beautiful sights. Do we should we give more information than that? Do you think? Um, if you are willing to do that, that would be great. If not, you know, it's a public area. You're welcome to be here. Thank you so much. It's perfect. Yeah. So you're, you're very very good at your job. I appreciate it, John. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for chatting. You're welcome. All right, we'll go check out some stuff over here. Oh, this says employees only, so we can't go past there. Do you know what that, oh, no. John? Do you know what that is, though? That's a, a sign that lets us know that we can't go back there. So I'm seeing a sign here, but I'm not seeing a sign there. And when I'm not seeing a sign here and I'm seeing a sign there, it makes me think that that's public. Well, there's no door there, so oh. we have to have a sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we take a look downstairs? Is there anything cool downstairs? That's not a public area. I'm oh, sorry. that's not. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being You're so welcome. nice. What's your name, young lady? Lisa. You have a very kind smile. <laughs> 
Very, very nice area. Beautiful streets. It, it's like a little San Francisco, it reminds me of, with just less steeper hills. And you wonder why you encounter so many grumpy people in your travels. With that kind of condescending attitude, I'm surprised nobody here out here or anywhere else has punched your lights out yet. But wait, if they did that, they would lose their jobs, and that's the whole point. You're going after people who can't hit you. But show that condescending attitude to the wrong person, and oh boy, I'm sure you'll be on the ground fairly quickly. And I hope that happens and it's caught on camera, because I would love to see that happen. Which is good, because I'm wildly out of shape and I don't like the hills. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Well, now, there you have it. Jackass Josh acting like a complete condescending little turd. And you know, one day, it's going to come around and bite him in the ass, and I hope we're all there to see it. But anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.